everybody, how you all doing? Welcome back to my channel and today we have another lip product review. Go figure, I know I got a problem, but I just love reviewing lip products. It's just so fun for me. Anyways, these are the new NYC Expert Last Lip Lacquers. They have a ton of shades in this line and I was really drawn to all the different nude shades they have. I picked up, I wanna say, well, I guess that pink isn't a nude, but I picked up like three of the lighter shades and I feel like they still had three or four more to choose from. Also went down to deep dark purples and things like that. So just to try them out, I did pick up five of the shades. I will be swatching them all for you guys. The shade that I'm wearing now on my lips is called Lincoln Square Love Affair. It is so, pretty. I love how pigmented these are, but I have to say the lighter shades on my lips, they just don't set as nicely as I would like. They kind of go into the lines in my lips, not bad, but enough to where they don't look as nice as a lot of other lip glosses I've tried. Um, keep in mind, these are only $3.99, so four bucks for a lip gloss. They are really pigmented, and on their website, they say they are long lasting, and I have to say they're definitely not long lasting at all for the lighter shades. I personally like to reapply them about every two hours, especially if you're eating and drinking. Maybe if you're not eating or drinking in that two hours, you know, you could go a little bit longer. But just for me, I found out that they are not that long lasting. The deeper shades do last longer than the lighter shades, of course. If you like the deeper shades, if I do two coats in the beginning and like I said, I'm not eating and drinking, um, I can get a good four hours. They do kind of stain your lips a little bit, but it's not the nicest stain. Um, so I just rather keep applying them than let them kind of wear off. Now as for the lighter shades, like I said earlier, they don't look as nicely as I would like on the lips and I'll kind of do a close up here in a minute of what I'm talking about. However, if you do use the NYC uh, Perfect Lip Primer under these, these are definitely worth picking up with this. If you do not have the primer with it, I would say pass on at least the lighter shades in this line but they did come out with this lip primer and I'm wearing the lip primer under this shade now and I have to say it makes a huge difference. It doesn't settle in my lines like it did without the primer. So this primer is really awesome. I'm so glad I picked this up. It's so cheap. I wanna say this is like three bucks, three or four dollars. And for what it does, it's so worth it. I have a whole nother video on this alone. It just works on products. If they look like crap on your lips, this is gonna help the way they look and just kind of fill in the line slightly. Some products I don't think it works as well on, but with these lip lacquers, this primer works so beautifully on them to the point that I will wear these now. Before, without this, I would not wear these. In fact, I was planning on taking a bath. The first shade I'm gonna show you is called Lincoln Square Love Affair. And this is the shade I have on my lips. I've had it on for a couple hours now, so I'm gonna reapply a little bit more. And you can see just how nicely it goes over this lip primer. I do have this lip primer underneath, but the other swatches I'll show you will not have the lip primer, so you kind of, you'll be able to see a difference. But you can see you get really nice color payoff. It's nice, smooth, and creamy, especially over the lip primer. And the shade is really pretty, so I do love their color selection. All right, moving on to the next shade. This is called Riverside Romance, and this is a really pretty kind of a peachy nude shade. I really love this. It's super peachy and pretty. This shade really travels into my lines and my lips. It just drives me crazy without that primer. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look the best. And if there's other drugstore picks that look better, then why not? So here we have the shade in Riverside Romance. It is a very pretty color. Um, this one just settles in my lines a lot more than the deeper shades. This next shade is called Madison Square Mauve and it does have really tiny, tiny shimmers in it. I wouldn't say it's glitter, it's definitely little shimmers and you cannot feel them on the lips. They are so tiny. So here we have the shade in Madison Square Mauve. Um, as far as the shade goes, I don't really like it on me just because I'm not a big fan of mauves. I think this goes a little bit too deep of a mauve for me and it's kind of pulling just a slight bit uh, frosty just because of the shimmers in it. But it is a really pretty neutrally color. If you have a little bit deeper skin tone than I do, this would look really pretty on you. And this doesn't sell in my lines like the other lighter shades do. So I do really like how this goes on my lips. Moving on to the next shade. This shade is called Coney Island Candy. It's a really pretty kind of baby doll 
cotton candy type color. So here we have the shade in Coney Island Candy. It's a really pretty bright, bright pink. I don't know if it's my favorite. It kind of makes my teeth look a little bit yellow, but it doesn't go into my lines as bad as some of the lighter shades, but I still would use the primer underneath just to help it out a little bit more. All right, and the last shade I have to show you guys is called Fiti Fuchsia number 203, and it looks like this swatch. This is one of my favorite colors out of the ones I've got. It's so pretty really pigmented. Here is the last shade in Feedy Fuchsia. This is such a beautiful shade. I love this color. Um, you have to be careful though because it does slightly bleed outside the lips so just don't put as much on and you should be fine. If you're worried about it, I mean you can always wear a lip liner. You can see that they're full of color. They're super creamy and they go on really nice. However, they're not as long lasting as they claim to be. And the lighter shades will kind of settle in your lips and not look the nicest. It doesn't look terrible, but I was just kind of comparing them to other glosses out there. They don't look super bad to where I wouldn't say don't pick up any and don't try them. However, I'm not going to recommend them unless you have the NYC primer. Only on the lighter shades you need this with. The deeper shades, I think they apply nicely and beautiful. So they do feel really nice on the lips as they kind of wear off. Um, I don't know, don't let them wear off. Just keep reapplying. I don't really like how they wear off, especially the deeper shades. They just kind of stain but it's patchy and it's not pretty. Uh, the lighter shades just kind of wear off a little bit better because they are lighter. But they are really pretty. I mean they're only $3.99 and if you do pick up the primer with it I would say go for the lighter shades because they have a really awesome selection on the lighter shades. I mean they have peachy nudes, they have beigey nudes, they have pinky nudes and then they have a really kind of nude nude that's going to blank your lips out and make you look good. I mean they have a ton of different nude colors and baby pinks and just different shades to pick from. So my overall thoughts on these are at first when I tried them without the primer I would have not picked up any of the lighter shades but now that I did try them with their primer I do love them and will continue to wear them. The deeper shades are really pretty but they don't last as long as they claim. Anyways guys I think that about wraps my review up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys and have an awesome day.